Twelve twenty-one. Awesome. Let's go, Brenton. We gotta go. Oh. <laughs> Clean off the camera. <laughs> I've been keeping in a notebook how much down to the cent everything for this project has cost. Hey! That's oh! oh! Like, we could literally mess up everything right now. Just go! Oh my god. What is going on, Froze? Welcome back to another video. Today, Saltwater Pond is gonna be like pretty much done by the end of this video. Where's Brenton? I lose this kid. <laughs> Before we continue on this video and get this pond done, I have a word from today's video sponsor. It sure is hot out here today. Whew. If only I had something to cool me off. Today's video is sponsored by Icy Breeze. This right here, what you're looking at, is the world's very first portable AC cooler. Not only does this cooler have lifetime warranty, but it also blows air right out of here. So if you're out like we are today, on the water, it's beautiful, it's hot, this cooler by your side will keep you cool right through here, or you can even unplug it here and cool yourself off this way. Now there are three ways to power this cooler. It comes with a 12 volt car cord, an optional 110 volt wall cord, and this battery right here that'll run this cooler for six and a half hours on a single charge. This cooler has twice the amount of insulation as the best cooler on the market, which allows this cooler to hold your ice for a lot longer and of course, have nice cold beverages. And this cooler starts at the price of $289. It is all self-contained and does not need to be vented outside or have condensation lines. It can be operated indoors or even put directly into a tent with you. The dual AC kit is great for splitting the air for two people. And the icy block works great when you don't feel like going and buying ice. It works great for food storage. Of course, have a couple drinks in there, that's totally fine, but it does need ice to blow the coldest air. Two USB ports right here. The super speed power port is my favorite accessory because you just clip it right onto the battery and charge whatever the heck you want right here. In order to run the AC, you need to fill this cooler up with a little bit of water, get it above that minimum water line. After that, dump your ice in, and just like that, with the click of a button, this thing starts up, and you've got cold AC blowing on your face at the beach, fishing, for instance, us just hanging out, right Reese? On the water. Make sure to go down in the description down below, click the link, and get yourself an icy breeze before you get too hot. Oh, hey, hey. I don't even need Brendan's help. I already know what I'm getting. This right here. We needed more resin for our fiberglass. We're gonna be fiberglassing the rest of the pond and also painting the pond in today's video. $75. You knew what we were getting. You remembered. <laughs> I do. I was gonna put you to the test. I'm, that's awesome. I remember. <laughs> you got some resin, gloves. We have a stir stick. Okay. A stir stick. Uh, stick and stir. And what stick, else is stir. could we potentially stir get? Stir and stick and stir. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, How many are we getting? Three big mamas. I kind of like the big mamas. Yeah, those are pretty fire. Yeah, get get a lot done at one time. How much? <laughs> Not nine dollars. <laughs> we'll get we'll get the little mamas. Three dollars. Yeah. yeah. So why am I paying? What the? Yeah. Why did I just pull out my car? Let's <laughs> try to get. We found a pair. Come on. All right. All right, we've got everything. This is all we needed to make this project complete. Let's go home and get to work. We are back in the fish building. We're putting our gloves on. Brenton is our fiberglasser. Literally, uh, he's a professional. It actually looks really good. Yeah, no, it is like, it like is really, rock, really, really good. Rock hard. If you guys did not see part one, I'll give you a quick recap, but I suggest you go watch that. So that's what we've gotten done thus far. That's how we've got where we are. All we have now left to do is this corner here and all of the uh, inside corners like that. All the floors are done. And then if we have any leftover, which we probably will because there's a lot of fiberglass, there's like a lot of this stuff, we'll do some spots that we think need to. We're also in the works of getting quotes on the phone for these windows. These dang windows have been nothing but a what? Nothing but a what, Brenton? A big problem! Exactly, a big problem, very large problem. We've been trying to get an inch and a half or two inch acrylic uh, windows for the past like week. None, none of these companies want business, I swear. It's hard to get them. The pond is looking pretty good. I'm excited to say though, by the end of this video, this will be blue.
All right, it's time. The entire pond, at least what we have done, the corners and stuff, are all sanded down. And uh, it's time. As you can see, we have some fiberglass laid right here. We just got to do all these corners. About to mix up the resin right now, huh? Yeah, this part is, uh, it's not as much fun. It's a little bit more serious because it's really hot and it burns and it itches. It hurts. And it's painful. So you don't want to get it on your skin. Eight minutes probably we got to work with it. So we're going to do as much as we can in eight minutes. Fill it back up. Mix it again. And keep going. Keep going. Brendan's suiting up in his hazmat suit. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> it's a good thing we bought two more of these because this one is only half filled. Remember when we were questioning that at the store? Thank goodness. We wouldn't have had enough, would we? No, absolutely not. People that have the windows just called. Uh, two panels. We'll get you to have to be uh, 1221. 1221. Awesome. Yeah, but I'll cut it as soon as it gets here. Awesome, perfect. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Do you need any payment information or anything right now? Sure. Uh, yeah, credit card information, please. Payment is secure. This is good because we honestly couldn't even put them on until we. Are you okay? I got something in my eye. All right, I'm good. Yeah, we couldn't even put them on until like late tomorrow because we gotta let the paint dry. So that's, yeah. that's so regardless, we didn't need the windows right now anyway. We somehow, we called around for the last week trying to get in touch with someone that does acrylic. Got, we got clutched up. We got clutched up by whoever, I don't even know who this is. Um, but thanks. But thanks, appreciate yeah. that. I gotta go pick them up, I think in two days from now. You look like a little scientist. <laughs> And that is what makes it hard. Let's go, Brenton! We gotta go! I've done a lot of projects in my past in this channel. And this by far, this pond right here, is the one I'm looking most forward to. It's so crazy how fiberglass works. And this stuff dries so fast. Like, it's oh probably gonna be dry already. Is it already drying? Yeah. It's already drying. And we've only done one little strip like that. It's nuts. So you gotta be very, very quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eww. We're rolling, dude. We already did half the pond in like 10 minutes. On the move! And just like that, this whole entire thing, from there all the way down to there, is done. All we have left to do is this, that, and up there. And we're gonna have a lot of leftovers, so we'll probably just mix another thing for the hell of it and hit all the spots we think might need it. As a matter of fact, it's still have a whole nother thing that we obviously won't need, so I'll probably return it. I found Brenton's p*** hair. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I was looking for that. <laughs> we are almost just about done now. We have just this one piece left, this one little L. We have like a kind of like a little routine going, you know? I cut the strip, put it in, he finishes it off. And we're just moving, dude. I finish we're just... him off, you know? <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Clean off the camera. <laughs> we actually did the same thing on this side, and it looks really, really good. Like, it ended up turning out pretty well. We didn't think it would curve around the edge too well, but it does. It's do, really not You do one to. side first. And then you fold it and do the other side. And we'll fold it once it after it dries a little bit. We're at the deep out of home, Brenton's favorite place. Yeah, this is actually somewhere I'm really considering owning equity in. Uh, they just <laughs> we should buy stock at this point. <laughs> we'll save a little bit of money this way. Yeah, that's better. Well, the unfortunate rollers. thing is we can't use this. You're right. We need a foam roller. Foam roller. Oh, dude, look how much fiberglass. Is on the bottom <laughs> of my new freaking dad shoes, bro. This will actually like put on the epoxy without just ripping off pieces of the roller. Which uh, even though it gets so hot, we're gonna need it's like hard three of these though, right? Uh, probably four. Two, three, four. Four of them. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, now we need the sticks, but those ends are the wrong size. One dollar and eighteen cents. And by the way, I'm gonna make a really cool video for those that want to know how much this costs down to the cent. I've been keeping in a notebook how much down to the cent everything for this project has cost. <laughs> yep, yeah, it looks fits. like it fits. <laughs> what do you think, Brenton? It looks, it looks good. It looks so dude. good, dude. It looks so good. Yeah, like, I am extremely itchy too, by the way. There's fiberglass everywhere. Yeah, it, it looks like correctly 
fiberglass. Which you I, did that. I didn't think it was gonna turn out like that, but like it looks like when you look at it, everywhere that wood wasn't connected is now connected with fiberglass. And it's like, it's rock hard. Hello? Hey, Paul. Hey, Nick. Hey, can you step out real quick? Step outside? Yeah, just shoot me. You're gonna shoot me with the gel. Ah, dude! Ah! Oh. Get back in there! Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That little well, Nick just stopped by and he didn't decide to help at all. He decided to just come in here and start shooting. That is, that is. Oh, oh, oh. What type of bag is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank God that didn't burst open. That is a gallon of hardener that we did not want on the ground. This. And this right here is the other half that you need. And now we can use this box for trash. Is this the exact same stuff? Exact same stuff. Same color, same everything. Same everything. The same brand. This is just a lot of it. Get her open. Oh yeah, she's all compressed. Oh yeah. That's oh! Oh, 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 oh! Just look at the pure color. I'm just stick, stick my hand in it. Look at the color of that. And then you mix this, just like the resin inside the pond was done. Gosh, this looks so crazy. I can't imagine it being blue. And it's about to be blue here in just a second. We got it. We were gonna do walls first, then floor. Because if we do floor, we can't get to the wall. So you're right, you're so right. We're gonna do walls first. We'll start in the back and work our way this way. For those of you guys that knows, knows what this means, it's a two to one ratio. So that's two parts paint, one part hardener. But it's hardener, so it gets hard, like really fast. Theoretically, if we poured all of this in there, which is the correct ratio. Yeah. We would just start painting going buck wild. Yeah, we can go buck wild. But it's gonna harden really quick. Like so we probably shouldn't do that. So that that's the So why don't we go to Home Depot right now? Or we just pour that in there and we go we go fast. I think I seriously think we should just send it and we can get like literally the whole all the walls done very quickly. It's a big decision right here. Four hundred dollar bucket of paint. <laughs> like we could literally mess up everything right now. Just go! Okay. Ah! Ah, the second it goes in there, we cannot stop. We're gonna go. Okay. We got this. Go. Oh my god. Go, 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 come go. on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep pouring. Oh, keep I'm pouring. setting up the camera. I'm setting up the camera so we can just go. Brendan, you look so great, bud. We're not gonna do it all in one next time. <laughs> no. We're rushing like a bunch of idiots over here, like chickens with their head cut off, but the first coat is done. As you can see, it is blue. It's so blue, the camera could just barely pick it up. And uh, we just wanted to get a basic coat done. And as you can see, we did just that. We have another bucket of paint that we were just completely finished this with once this all dries. It'll be like fully blue then. Yeah, fully blue. Okay, for instance, that right there, like that right there is like where it was thick enough to what we want the whole entire pond to look like. Um, but we didn't get the many corners or anything like that with the first coat. For the most part, you see it's blue. It looks good. It looks amazing. Is it in my hair? It's in your hair. Where? Oh my God. Oh no, they see it. Okay. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower. This saltwater pond looks absolutely amazing. Couldn't be happier with the progress that we have made so far today. Big shout out to Icy Breeze for sponsoring today's video. Check out those links down below. We'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace. I know as a person that watches YouTube, I love the creators that I watch, like car guys and stuff, when they when they post the video. I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be a blooper. No, no, one, no, 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 no one cares that much. Let's just move on. <laughs>